The raven himself is horse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unsex me here and fill me from the crown to the toe top full of direst cruelty. Make thick my blood. Stop with the access and passage to remorse that no compunctuous visitings of nature shake my fell purpose, nor keep peace between the effect and it. Come to my woman's breast. Take my note for gall, you murdering ministers! Wherever in your sightless substances you wait on nature's mischief. You see that? That's how you get things done. <laughs> <laughs> she just said she wants to be more like a man and less like a woman in order to move forward with some evil plan. You think that's brave? I like that Lady M steps up, like a boss. I hate that people think that a woman shouldn't take charge when she wants. What is she taking charge of? Of her story. Yeah, not all girls who take charge are doing it to be evil. Lady M is ambitious. Maybe she's going about it the wrong way, but she's showing us that a woman could take charge and get the job done. When you look at her world today, people like Malala, Nobel Peace Prize winner, was shot in the face because she was told girls can't go to school. But she didn't accept that story. My mom risked her life to come here from El Salvador because she wanted more than what was expected of her. Why is a woman can't be like men? Be brave, bossy, soldier, a soldier, or sometimes a little evil. I like that Lady M kills our expectations. Is Lady M evil or is Macbeth evil? Or do they both just go to dangerous lengths to make sure some prophecy comes true? Can I get a picture? Will it be in the front page? <laughs> 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 Great Glom's worthy Cawdor, greater than both by the all hell hereafter. Thy letters have transported me beyond this ignorant present, and I feel now the future and the instant. My dearest love, Duncan comes here tonight. And when goes hence? Tomorrow, as he purposes. Oh, never shall sun that tomorrow see. Your face, my thing, is as a book where men may read strange matters. To beguile the time, look like the time. Bear welcome in your eye, your hand, your tongue. Look like the innocent flower, but to be the serpent under it. He that's coming must be provided for, and you shall put this night's great business into my dispatch, which shall to all our nights and days to come give solely sovereign to end masterdom. We will speak further. Only look up clear. To alter favor ever is to fear. Leave all the rest to me. <laughs> this castle hath a pleasant seat. The air nimbly and sweetly recommends itself unto our gentle senses. See, see, our honored hostess. All our service and every point twice done and then done double were poor and single business to contend against those honors deep and broad where with your majesty loads our house. Fair and noble hostess, we are your guests tonight. Give me your hand. Conduct me to my host. We love him highly and shall continue our graces towards him. By your leave, hostess. If it were done, when tis done, the Tyrell it were done quickly. If the assassination could trammel up the consequence and catch with this surcease success, that with this blow might be the be-all and the end-all here. But here, upon this bank and shoal of time, we jump for the life to come. <laughs> but in these cases, we still have judgment here. That we but teach bloody instructions, which, be 